Hello and welcome to JSB Talks Digital, the vlog for marketers, bloggers, business owners and those of you taking your skills into the digital age. I'm Joanne Sweeney-Burke and this vlog is brought to you by Digital Trading Institute. JSB Talks Digital. Summit. Well, I've been self-employed in business for the past eight years and I can tell you business can be a very lonely place to be. Eight years ago I was here in the convention centre going right off this escalator for the interviews in the Apprentice final with Bill Cullen and warrior was a word that Bill used frequently. I mightn't have been much of a warrior back then or maybe I've been a warrior all my life but I'm dying to find out how much more of a warrior is in JSB. So I'm on my way to hear Robin Sharma. If you're not scared a lot, you're not growing very much. James, I'm delighted to meet you here at my first Pendulum Summit, but I know you've been here before, but you've been going to events like this for many, many years. I mean, back seeing Tony Robbins in, in 1999. Tell me why you're back at the Pendulum Summit. What was your motivation to come? Because I know I wanted to come to, to work on JSB's mindset, something that I, you know, I battled with, but why did you come? Well, if it's for mindset, you're in the right place because uh, I, I think there's two. There's a number of reasons I came. One was the there's six world class speakers on stage, and I know we've seen two of them now. And um, you know, I personally, I'm involved in leadership development, personal leadership, um, mindset, and for, you know, one of the areas that I I've, I'm really looking forward to is everything around behaviour change mm. and around what. You know, and Keith Frazzi was on there first, and he talked about knowledge is not enough. Yeah. That we need experience in order to know the path ahead. And I think the big thing that even came out from this morning was that, yes, we're all at a seminar, there's like 2,000 people or more here in the convention center, but it's really about how can you take the information and apply it? Because, you know, we've heard a lot of the material before, but this event is all about mindset, leadership, and um, being inspired to move forward. Most of us tend to ignore what could go wrong. We, we don't really think about the risk, and yet that's what the pros do. The pros are all about the risk. That's why they're skeptical. That's why they're rich. Because getting rich has a lot to do with being skeptical, not optimistic. Warren Buffett said, optimism is the enemy of the rational investor. So I'm joined now at Dublin's Convention Centre by Paul O'Mahony, Digital Marketing Specialist and Personal Development Speaker. Paul, how have you been enjoying the Pendulum Summit? You're a bit of a seasoned Pendulum Summit speaker and attendee. Yeah, I've been loving it. It's been amazing this year. Very different to the, the Tony Robbins one last year where it really was all about one man. High energy, high motivation. While this year it's, um, I mean, unbelievable standard of speakers. Six of the top speakers in the world. And I think from everybody I'm speaking to, whether you're into business, whether you're an employee, or whether you're kind of thinking about making that leap into the entrepreneurship world, people seem to be getting a lot of, a lot of um, information and knowledge out of it. That I'm not an extraordinary person. I'm not. Because if you make me extraordinary, then that lets everyone else off the hook. But if you recognize that I am an ordinary woman choosing every day to get up and do one more extraordinary thing, then even playing field for all of us. So I'm joined by Jerry Duffy, who is known as the 32 Marathon Man. But in actual fact, Jerry, I think you've gone way over 70 plus marathons at this stage. I have, yeah. I, I don't personally count them. I, it's somewhere north of 70. I'm not sure if it's 71 or 76. I actually don't know. Um, I do it for fun. That's why I run marathons, do ultra marathons, um, and you know, 
Isn't it good? It's, it's something that I'm passionate about. I'm sure people watching this are passionate about their things. For me, one of the things I'm passionate about, I'm passionate about five or six different things, but one of them is definitely, not necessarily marathons, but, but fitness. Yeah. And, and best managing this vehicle, which your body is a vehicle, because it takes us to all of our goals. So I find the fitter I can make it, the more it will help me, you know, in all of the different goals that I have in my life. Since you don't want to get to the top of the ladder and find out the ladder was leaning against the wrong wall. You can become very successful at what you think is your success, but if it's not your true purpose, you won't feel fulfilled, you won't feel complete. Well, basically, I interviewed 75 of the most successful people in North America looking for was there a common set of principles that if applied is what made them successful because they'd worked for me in my life. I want to make sure it just wasn't about me. Mm -hmm. And um, so what we did, I gathered together 70, well, originally 64 principles, now there's 67 in the new version because okay. we've updated it for social media, for crowdsourcing, crowdfunding, yeah. that kind of thing. And these are principles with strategies and techniques that go with them that if applied, it's like knowing the combination to a lock. If mm -hmm. you know the combination, doesn't matter if you went to university or not, doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, high IQ, low IQ, the lock has to open. So this is like a, a system that if you do it in the order mm -hmm. of what you're supposed to do in the right way in the right time, what will happen is that you'll be successful. And I guarantee anybody that if you use these principles for at least two years, you can double your income, double your time off, have more fun, make more impact in the world, create better relationships, better health, whatever it is. So each of these is a unique principle that when you tie them all together, like a necklace or a bracelet, it creates a system of success that, that works. So we're coming towards the end of day two at the 2017 Pendulum Summit here in Dublin's Convention Centre. I'm joined, and I'm so delighted to be joined, by Dr. John Martini. Thank you so much for joining me on JSB Talks Digital, the vlog. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about what you've told the audience out there in terms of wealth mastery. Well, I believe that every human being uh, lives by a set of priorities, a set of values in their life. And whatever is highest on their value, they're spontaneously inspired from within to fulfill it. And whatever is lowest on the value, they require outside motivation to get them to do it. The lower values are extrinsic, the highest values intrinsic. Most people have a fantasy of having financial independence. All the hands went up, John. But not everybody has financial independence, less than 1%. So as a result of that, that means that many people have a fantasy of living the good life and living the lifestyles of the rich and famous. And when they get money, they spend it on consumables and depreciables that make it harder for them to ever get ahead. And most people do not have a real value on wealth building where they're dedicated to serving vast numbers of people, building a magnificent business that's efficient, that has a profit, saving a portion of the profits, investing it, accumulating it, and doing a great cause with it, and doing something that changes and makes a difference in the world. Those that do, the few people that really truly have a value in wealth building leave their, their mark in finances in the world. So I was talking about how they could change the values that they have, if they want to, to change it from the forms of genuine wealth they have, which may be their family or their social impact, to financial wealth, so they have the options to, with money, to do the things that money can provide, which is opportunity. The sun has set on Dublin City and we've come to the end of the two-day Pendulum Summit of 2017. I came here trying to find out whether I would be able to unleash the inner JSB warrior mindset and as I reflect on the past two days I have to say that um, my perception has completely changed. I realise that I have the power and I can take the action to swing the pendulum of my life and to achieve mastery in my life. We've had conversations and dialogues with the speakers, with attendees, and 
what I've begun to realize is that the energy that is contained in the universe is the energy that is within all of us. We don't know what our potential is until we stretch our mus muscles, until we rise above the challenges and the perceived challenges that we set um, for ourselves. A couple of things that I'm taking away from the Pendulum Summit, it takes 66 days to create a new habit uh, and it takes practice. You have to use those muscles and you have to practice. So I will certainly be practicing mastery in my personal life. If you want to be a student, then you have to study. You have to study those that have already achieved mastery. So I'll be starting with certainly with Jack Canfield and Dr. John Demartini, two of the masters, I believe, in the world of personal and business development. The other thing that I learned from Lisa Nichols, whose story, I think, um, resonates so closely with, with Sophie and I's stories of she went from welfare to Wall Street and JSB went from welfare to the web. Um, and of course, that is my channel to tell my stories and to share my knowledge and know-how with you. And Lisa talks about, you know, you don't get lucky, you make lucky. She made lucky for herself. She didn't ask for permission. Don't stand in your story, stand on your story. Um, and I had lovely conversations with her last evening, spent some time with her um, and potentially going to do her one of her boot camps in, in San Diego. And I am walking away with a new enthusiasm and you know that JSB, JSB has enthusiasm. You know JSB is motivated, JSB takes action and I walk the digital walk. But there's so much more that I have learned about personal development and where I can take it. And for some people who, who might be doubters, who might be a bit cynical about you know, what we've heard over the last two days, the only thing that I would say to you is, what is your higher, highest value? What is your higher value? What is your goal? What is going to be your legacy after you leave here? And what do you want people to remember you by? Um, so I think I'm gonna go away and um, ask some more questions of myself, but really embrace every new day with greater enthusiasm, with greater vigor, with greater optimism and you know what i don't need permission from anyone and um, i want to say a big thank you to frankie sheehan to norma to emer to connor to the entire pendulum summit team it's been an amazing opportunity i want to say a big thank you to marie claire baird who's behind the camera right now she's done a wonderful job and we're an amazing team um, and i love when we collaborate and work together i want to say a big thank you also to paula mahoney who introduced me to so many of his friends and his network and for helping me get some of the, the interviews that we got over the past two days. And to you for watching and for listening, JSB, come with me on the journey and I'll help you on your journey. So from the Convention Centre in Dublin, um, goodbye and um, thanks for listening and watching JSB Talks Digital, the vlog. Make sure if you like this video that you like, you share, you comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you get the vlogs every Monday on my YouTube channel. JSB Talks Digital. Give me a like, subscribe and get JSB Talks Digital, the vlog every Monday morning in your inbox. And please do share with your friends. They'd really appreciate it.